I'm Callie Lewis, you're watching Geek Brief TV. This is Brief 681. couple netbooks in my house, but I never use them. The idea of a netbook is compelling. There are just some places I can't take a MacBook Pro, but a netbook will fit in a purse and I can whip it out to take care of email and get my Twitter fix. The problem with every netbook I've tried until now, though, is that the hardware makes it seem like I'm working with a toy computer, especially compared to what I'm used to, a MacBook Pro. Well, I finally found a netbook that doesn't make it seem like I'm sacrificing good engineering for the sake of convenience, and it's the Nokia Booklet 3G. All the hype around Nokia's entrance into the computer market was well-deserved. I love the Booklet 3G. I've gotten to play with it for two weeks, and I have to send this one back, but I will be buying one because this is exactly what I've been looking for in a netbook. It has 3G built in, so you can get online anywhere you are, even if you don't have Wi-Fi. It has a 10-inch screen, 120 gigabyte hard drive, one gig of RAM, and an Intel Atom Z530 1.6 gigahertz processor. It has three USB ports, an HDMI port, an SD card reader, and it runs Windows 7. It has by far the best trackpad I've ever used on a PC. It even lets me do a two-finger scroll when I'm browsing websites. It looks like it was made by Apple and it feels great. It always takes me about a week to adjust to a smaller keyboard on any netbook, and this was no exception. The downsides are really all things you'd expect from a small device, stuff like limited RAM and weak built-in speakers. The upside outweighs all that because it's such a well-built, responsive little machine. It's a pleasure to use, and this is the first time I've ever been able to say that about a netbook. Ultimately, this is a netbook that makes me want to carry it around and use it instead of a smartphone. For a lot of people, the limiting factor is going to be price. It's solidly built and costs $600 unsubsidized. In the States, though, you can pick one up from AT&T for $299 with a two-year contract. The data plan, though, is a whopping $60 a month, which brings the cost of the booklet up to $3,180, so I plan to just stick with Wi-Fi and Verizon's my Fi card. Last week, I told you about the new TriCaster TCX D300. I told you about its impressive virtual sets and even more impressive virtual zooms. Before we shipped the box back to New Tech, we ran it up to the studio to give it a run with me in front of the green screen because me telling you it's cool isn't nearly as good as getting to show you. Obviously, in this clip, we're doing more zooming in and out than would be prudent in actual production. We shot this as I unboxed the Nokia Booklet 3G and it made it possible for us to use two cameras. In the tech world, lots of life is all about anticipating various upgrades. This is the upgrade that has my heart for now. In one of the many rooms I've visited set up to showcase various home automation technology, I saw something that should be commonly available at every Best Buy. It was a keyboard with a built-in trackpad. It isn't very exciting or groundbreaking, but it is definitely something nice to have when you're sitting back on the sofa interacting with a home theater PC setup. This one is made by Adesso. The model number is WKB4000BB, and it connects to your system via Bluetooth. Bluetooth. When they sent it, I hoped it would pair with an iPhone, but Apple doesn't allow that. This Adesso works with XP Vista Windows 7, but not OS 10. You can pick one up for about $100. Brief 681 was brought to you by Squarespace.com. Squarespace is the place to go when you want to build a great looking website without spending much money or needing to know how to code. My promo code geek will save you 12%. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Callie Lewis. Bye!